So we actually use that rule that we were talking about, the 30 minute rule uh, with coin shows. And uh, when we use that rule, we actually found a new connection. And all this stuff uh, today is provided by, the, by that new connection. Alright guys, just made it to the hotel. I uh, wanted to give you guys a quick scope of what we got today. Whole slew of stuff. Spent about $7,000. 1914D. Uh, a little bit of a better date. Uh, it's a little bit worn on the obverse, but the reverse is very nice. I uh, got some better dates here uh, in the penny set. Uh, also got um, some better date 30s, which is pretty interesting. I haven't really uh, delved into much of these. But I think that uh, some of them may be pretty promising. Um, just an overall really nice set. Uh, just to, um, I don't really work with them too often. But when I get sets in like this, uh, I try to do the best I can with them. But like I said, just a stunning set. Uh, let me show you guys a few other things. This is kind of just giving you guys a broad scope. So a few things might be interesting to you guys. Uh, we got a whole bunch of different stuff like this. Uh, you know. Uh, just things that failed to go the distance with grade. Uh, let me see where kind of a few of the the prize possessions are from this uh, this Kennedy set. Uh, accented hair, uh, MS uh, proof 67. That's a decent coin. Um, a lot of this stuff we just picked up because um, it's just small little things that we can sell. He really wanted to get rid of this. Uh, a lot of just cameo, uh, you know, Franklin's cameo. Uh, you know, stuff like this. Pretty unique stuff. I like it. Wanted to try it out, learn more about it. Uh, we got a lot of barber stuff here. So, you know, barber uh, dime. Uh, a little bit of a better kind of small, you know, lower grade half dollars. Barber half dollars and holders. Whole bunch of slew of that. Um, what else did we get? Um, you know, just more half dollars. Uh, got this pretty interesting 1840 uh, oh no drapery on this coin uh, that's pretty unique um, but I also wanted to show you guys some cool other things that we got this is probably one of the biggest pickups of the day this is a proof um, barber half dollar we'll show that a little bit later in the video uh, we also got some other stuff like this um, we got some seated uh, dollars in here about three of them we got them for 300 bucks each um, a pretty cool end of roll uh, Franklin. We try to tap on the screen to get it a little bit better for you. Uh, just a few things that we're going to break down later in the, this episode. Um, I actually got some Hawaiian stuff too. Um, and if you guys are ever interested in any of this stuff, AcousiaCollectibles.com has it for you. And we also got a few seated uh, half dollars. Uh, they're actually pretty expensive in higher grades, but it's always good to not, you know, if you can get these for a good price, don't pass on them. Um, I'm trying to see where we have uh, this proof here. So we actually picked up this proof uh, quarter as well, which is pretty nice. I think it was close to Cameo. Um, but like I said, uh, stunning coins. Very happy uh, with our friend that we, uh, we made a few acquaintances the past show. And it's really starting to pay off. And last but not least, we have a whole ton of Ike dollars. Uh, if you guys ever want some of these, just let me know. I'm trying to get rid of a whole bunch of them. So uh, let me, let's continue in the video. I'm going to cherry pick a few of these coins out of here and show them to you guys, give you a perspective on them. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Drew, just man to the light box. Wanted to show you guys a few things. Um, that we found uh, we actually went to someone's house and uh, they hooked us up with a lot of really nice coins uh, coins you don't see every day and some coins you see all the time but uh, that's just how it goes with a lot of things you uh, find uh, some things that are affordable for some people and then you find coins that are not affordable for everybody um, we actually 
So we actually used that rule that we were talking about, the 30 minute rule uh, with coin shows. And uh, when we used that rule, we actually found a new connection. And all this stuff uh, today is provided by, the, by that new connection. Uh, so you guys uh, are being blessed today, and I'm being blessed today, uh, especially uh, because of it. Um, so let's start off by showing you guys uh, this 1912 uh, proof barber quarter. Um, the mirrors on this coin are just very, uh, very nice. Uh, there's a little bit of a toning uh, distraction at the top, but the cameo is there. It's very nice. Um, I love this coin just because it's not uh, ugly toned. Uh, most of the time with proofs, uh, you're gonna run into uh, coins that are not just not very attractive. Um, so I saw a lot at the show this weekend where uh, there's just some there's toning on it, which really covers up the the proof appearance of the coin. And some people, when they buy proof uh, barber quarters, or barber halves, or barber dimes, they want that cameo effect that they don't see on normal barbers. Um, and just like we showed you guys a few videos ago, there's a proof AU details we bought. Um, that one sold pretty quickly, and we actually found uh, another proof barber uh, half. Uh, here's this coin right here that you guys will want to take a look at. Um, this is a, just an outstanding piece. Um, when you put it in the light, you just see that beautiful proof appearance to it. Uh, it's just a, a stellar coin. Uh, I love the reverse more than anything else. It has, it's just, the cameo's there. The, the fields are so dark on this coin. Um, the only problem that, that it runs into uh, for not getting cameo is kind of this haze. This almost, Yeah, it's like a haze on the uh, bottom of this uh, obverse. Which is not the worst thing. Um, maybe one day someone will conserve it. Probably not me. I'm just not uh, too experienced in that uh, regard. But nonetheless, an outstanding piece of history. Uh, I think there's only like 655 minted of this coin. And uh, that's something uh, that's just remarkable that I, I, I'm able to own one of those. And in such outstanding uh, shape. But um, Speaking of stuff that we ran into that you know everybody can buy... Um, just because, you know, it, it's it's just cool and affordable things. Uh, bought a 1907 uh, Barber Half. 1912S Barber Half. 1900S Barber Half. 1915S Barber Quarter. 1906 Barber Quarter, or Barber Half. And that's just half the stack. Let's just keep showing you guys. Um... This is uh, 1901 uh, Barber Half, 1898 Barber Half, this is 1873 Seated Half Dollar with Arrows, this is an 1855-0 uh, Seated Half Dollar with Arrows, this is an 1862-S Graded VG8. So you can see by all these coins here that um, a lot of them were probably sent in by, by bulk. But they're, I mean, just outstanding pieces uh, of history. Um, we buy those just because they're, they might be whole fillers for someone's collection. And speaking of another one, here it comes. Uh, 1874 G6 with uh, arrows, seated half dollar. Uh, a lot of these uh, people are trying to stack up. And also when you're kind of, uh, what I wanted to show you guys um, next video or a few videos from now, we're actually building a, uh, a buffalo uh, nickel set that, that's toned. So, you know, when someone starts a set and there's so many different dates, this is a good place to start. You know, uh, G6, VG8, um, VG10, all that, all that place is a good place to start, especially when you're on a low budget. You can afford almost every common date um, and low grade for around 30, 35 bucks, which is not too bad at all. Um, we bought this pretty cool piece. This is an 1853 half dime with arrows on it. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a nice little toning to it. Um, nothing too crazy, um, but when I when I get little things like this in, and I don't have something like in the shop like it, I like to buy stuff um, just to catch someone's interest and give that variety to them. But pretty nice coin. Um, Here's a coin that uh, I, I wanted to take a risk on. I apologize for spinning that. This is an 1840 um, O with no drapery. Um, this this coin I think is the beginning of uh, the series. So um, this is where they uh, started just a, 
but with no, they had no drapery and they had the drapery variant on this coin um, and when, when I uh, when I went to this guy's house I actually saw a whole slew of stuff just like this and uh, you know I never bought most of the stuff I've never bought before and I don't have clients for but I really want to have clients for it I really want to have uh, collectors that ask me about things that want me to look out for certain things and so this is me getting my foot in the door and we've been talking about that as well if you want to, if you want to get your foot in the door sometimes you got to kick the door down uh, a lot of this stuff I haven't really uh, ha had a buyer for it and um, I'm going to find buyers for it and it's going to take time but that's just the way of the game uh, the cool thing about this coin is just it's so original um, sometimes you, you find coins uh, like this they've been lightly cleaned or they have a, a dig through them or they have a rim ding uh, this coin is uh, the exception it's just a stunning example that's circulated and uh, I can't I'm so, I'm so thankful that uh, we were able to buy something like this and like I said he has a whole bunch of things that he bought um, for the for his uh, for his set but he also has stuff that you know he wants to sell and so the cool thing about our connection is that he runs into many collections uh, like this stuff but he also runs into Morgans and Peace Dollars and um, sometimes he likes to handle just barbers and so he's he's trying to help us and uh, he says some, sometimes I'll ask you uh, your opinion or help you want to buy some stuff and so uh, that's going to be a really bl real blessing for us um, it's really going to progress our business uh, to the next level going to give us a constant inventory hopefully um, and we're so thankful for him and all he does uh, let me show you guys a few more things this is a 1914 uh, Barber Quarter. Uh, the eye appeal on this coin is very nice. Um, it has that uh, a little bit of a cleany look to it, like someone cleaned it. Um, but it's still a pretty nice, um, pretty nice example. Um, I do have one barber collector that I sell to regularly, and something like this he really likes because it's affordable. Um, it fills a hole in his spot in his collection, and uh, that's what I'm I'm here for. The weird thing about these, though, is that there's a barber dime, barber half, barber quarter, and so sometimes it can get a little bit weary. Um, sometimes you gotta just start with dimes, or sometimes you gotta start with quarters, or sometimes you gotta start with halves, just because you know you're gonna you don't want to run into you know getting exhausted, getting uh, you know out of steam when going through the barber uh, the barber set because there's a lot of dates. And uh, there's a lot of different uh, denominations. And so uh, hopefully this one blesses him. I think Riley might be watching this video. And if he is, shout out to him. He's a pretty cool guy. I'm thankful to, uh, thankful to him because he's done a lot of business with me in the past. Um, let me show you uh, this 1916 Barber Quarter. Um, this one's a little bit more original in my opinion. Not as t tampered with. Um, does is a little dark. Which is okay. It's what you see on a circulated coin most times, um, but stuff like this, uh, you know, it helps me get my feet in the door. Um, we got 1916s Barber Quarter, so someone's wanting to fill a set, uh, you know, of circulated halfway circulated coins. Uh, you know, you got the 1916 dime, 1916 uh, quarter, uh, 1914 quarter, um, and a lot of these, uh, not these, but some of them are just submitted all together. Um, so a lot of them are consecutive certain numbers, which is pretty cool. Um, let me show you guys the last coin of the video. This is a 1906 uh, oh, half dollar. Um, and what I learned from our friend, um, he likes to collect original barbers. Um, An original basically means, um, you know, it, it circulated very nicely. It wasn't too uh, beat up. It wasn't too, uh, I don't know, it wasn't too, uh, I guess... The, what I'm saying is that it has a story to it that doesn't uh, leave it all bruised and beaten up by the time he has it. And so, uh, coins like this right here is something you, you kind of want to look out for, uh, rather than coins that uh, start to grow, uh, you know, get, get ugly toning or have dings in it. Um, this coin just looks uh, extremely original. Uh, never really had uh, too many uh, fights um, during its lifetime. And uh, that's something I learned that's new this weekend. Um, people that like original barbers aren't sometimes the most attractive in hand, but they are uh, the most untampered with. And that's actually something that adds to their collector value. So 
Barbers are a whole different animal, but there's something that I really want to get accustomed to, really start to learn about. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And let's cut it to the outro. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, we had a really good time at the antique store. Uh, found a lot of cool things from our friend, um, our new connection. Uh, I hope the rule that we taught you uh, at the Austin Show uh, video, if you guys want to see that, it'll be right here. So if you guys want to, uh, you know, check out the other videos that we have. We always are trying to come out with great content to help you guys uh, get better at coin collecting or at coin dealing. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, and I will see you in the next video.